Hi Scandi friends, I'm Karen Grady from Scandinavian today and I am going to make a very traditional Danish cold cut, rullepølse. And uh, of course in my childhood we always bought it from my uncle. He was a butcher and he had all kinds of delicious cold cuts. Now I can't buy it around here so I have to make it myself. So let's start it. I am going to use a piece of pork loin and it weighs about three pounds. And the first step is to slice it. And I slice it about a third inch thick. So here we. And of course, after I've sliced it, I can then add the spices. So. And here you see the whole piece sliced. All right, so now let's add spices. And I'm going to sprinkle the meat with the following. One tablespoon of salt, one teaspoon of pepper, of course I'm going to mix it all together, half a teaspoon of marjoram, and half a teaspoon of allspice, and then we have a quarter teaspoon of cloves. So just mix it all up and then you can sprinkle it on the meat. So here we have the sliced meat and now I'm sprinkling two small packages of gelatin on the meat. Just make sure it's evenly distributed all over the meat. That was one, here comes the other one. And now I'm going to add the spices. So here, sprinkle the spices all over. Okay, so here we have all the spices as well as the gelatin on the meat, on the inside of the meat. And now I can start <coughs> rolling it up. So here we go and roll it tight. And I now have to tie it with a rope to keep it together. Okay, so here we go. Keep keep it around the whole piece of meat. And I tied it all up and now I can put it in the brine. Next ingredients for the brine, I'm going to use four cups, approximately four cups of water. You might need about five cups, four to five cups I would say. And then two thirds cup of salt and a third cup of sugar. But first of all, I'm going to dissolve the sugar and the salt in a, in a little bit of hot water. Here I poured the salt into a little bit of water and also the sugar and I'm going to put it in the microwave for a brief minute to get it dissolved. Or you can dissolve the sugar and the salt in the water on the stove. Either way will work. It might be faster to get it done on the stove actually. And after it has been dissolved you want it to cool down before you add it to the rest of the water. So here we have the meat in the brine. Here I'm covering it up and I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for two days. So the meat has been in the brine for two days. I will now remove it and I'm going to rinse it under water. And I'm now rinsing the meat in the cold fresh water and then I'm going to boil it. And here we have the meat on the stove. 
I'm adding a teaspoon of peppercorns, also three little pieces of cloves, and also uh, two bay leaves to the water. And of course you can also add an onion and carrot or celery if you like. Cover it completely with water and I'm then going to boil it for about three hours. And I will be back. So here you see the Danish rullepølle surprise, which I bought in Denmark. And you're supposed to put the meat in the center here and then press it in and squeeze it down to press it. All right. So of course it's nice to have one of those, but you can also make it without. And I'll show you how I do that. So now I'm going to take off the rope, which I tied it with, and I'm going to press it in a bread pan. And of course, if you have a rullepølse press, you can use that. But if you don't, just put it in a bread pan like I'm doing here. And put another one on top and then tie this. And you know, you want to put something heavy on top to squeeze it down. And actually also I tied on a little rope here to make sure it st stays there, okay? And I put my Danish salt container. It's a Royal Copenhagen one actually. I put that in here in the, and of course you can use anything heavy on top. And then I want to put it in the refrigerator Make sure it cools down and it gets pressed. And it's time for me to slice my rullepølse. And actually, I should mention that some people also add chopped onions in the center here together with the spices. I didn't do it this time though, but it's good with onions as well. So my rullepølse is all finished and we are ready to have rullepølse sandwiches, open face rullepølse sandwiches. And I will make a video showing you how I make that. Hopefully you also enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching. Score and please, if you have any remarks, please uh, write it in the down below the video on the remarks. I'll be happy to hear from you. Happy holidays. Enjoy everything. Score. Happy holidays! Good Yule! If this is your first time here, I hope you'll subscribe to our channel because every week we post both modern and traditional Scandinavian recipes and this will help you to celebrate Scandinavian memories and celebrate traditions with your family and friends. So thank you so much! Skål and hope to see you another day! Have a great day.